What's going on, gardeners? It's Tuesday, October 11th, and it is a gorgeous fall day here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina. Today, I'm going to show you two organic foliar sprays that will take your organic gardening routine to the next level. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications, and check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom-designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated. Foliar feeding is the act of supplying nutrition to a plant through the absorption of fertilizers through the plant's foliage instead of the more common method of fertilizing plants through the roots. Just like our skin can absorb nutrients through the use of skincare products, plants can absorb nutrients through their tissues too. Foliar sprays can quickly and efficiently correct deficiencies in micronutrients, where a gallon of liquid fertilizer may only be enough to feed three to six plants through traditional watering means, that same gallon of liquid employed as a spray can treat dozens of plants. But there are two caveats. One, you must use water-soluble fertilizers that are specifically designed for foliar feeding applications. And two, you must use a much lower concentration in foliar sprays than what you'd normally apply to the roots because applying strong fertilizers directly to the leaves can burn the plants. Always make sure you read the packages of the products you use because the foliar applications are going to be much more diluted. Now onto my two favorite organic foliar feeding products. The first product is going to come as no surprise to regular viewers of the channel, and that is fish fertilizer or fish emulsion, depending on what you want to call it. Fish fertilizer is made up of parts of fish that have then been pulverized into a paste and then fermented so the micronutrients and macronutrients become immediately bioavailable to your plants. If you were to take a whole piece of fish and then bury it next to your plants, that fish would take weeks or months to naturally decay, and only after it decays are those nutrients then bioavailable to your plants. Because this product has been fermented, the fermentation process has naturally decomposed all of that nutrition beforehand, so all of those nutrients are immediately bioavailable to your plants, and since it is already ground into a fine paste, it can be mixed in water and applied as a foliar spray. Now regardless if you use this brand of fish emulsion, another brand of fish emulsion, or a similar fish hydrolysate product of your choosing, always consult the back for the concentration that you should use. This specific brand of fish emulsion does not have instructions for foliar feeding, it only has the concentration levels for direct watering of the roots. And they range anywhere from one tablespoon per gallon for root vegetables and other outdoor container plants, and they get as high as four tablespoons per gallon for larger fruit trees. I'm going to be foliar feeding my garden vegetables with this. So we're going to cut the concentration in half and we are going to use a concentration of only one tablespoon per gallon. So we're conservative for our garden vegetables and we're sure that we don't burn the foliage. If you're foliar feeding something like a larger established fruit tree, you could go up to two tablespoons per gallon concentration. But in my opinion, it's better to be conservative conservative and go with one tablespoon per gallon and feed it twice as often. So I would rather give my fruit trees one tablespoon per gallon every week than give it two tablespoons per gallon every two weeks. So it's better to feed them more often with diluted solution than it is to feed them less regularly with stronger concentrations because there is that chance of burn and more downside with that method. So in this pump sprayer right here, we have one and a half gallons of water. We are going to fill this up with one and a half tablespoons of the fish emulsion. And I made sure to shake things up very well. Always make sure to shake your fish emulsion first. So that is one and a half tablespoons and one and a half gallons of water. Then we're going to shake the container very well to evenly distribute all the fish emulsion. And now we are applying the foliar feed to all of our newly planted garden vegetables. And if you wish, you can also mix a little bit of a natural pesticide in here. I'm starting to see some evidence of my brassicas having a little bit of worm damage. So you can mix some spinosad or natural pyrethrin into here if you need to control an outbreak. I have a small amount of pyrethrin mixed in with this fish emulsion. So I'm getting the benefits of both a foliar feeding and a natural pesticide that is going to take care of this little worm problem that I'm starting to have because it's that time of year. And we're going to do the same exact thing to our tomatoes, which are getting pretty beaten up by late season blight 
However, uh, they're still producing and we'll be able to finish out the rest of our growing season on the right foot. So make sure that you soak your tomato plants down very well and that goes for any other vegetable. Make sure that you coat all of the leaves because the more leaves that you coat, the better they will absorb the nutrients. While fish fertilizer is amazing for your plants, it's not for everybody. And that's because the powerful odor may have some downsides. Some people can't use it because they feel it attracts animals and other wildlife into their yard and sometimes it results in this wildlife digging up their plants. Alternatively, you may also be gardening indoors and you probably don't want to use fish fertilizer on an indoor garden or within potted plants that are right up against your house or inside your house. And that's the problem I'm having right now. Right here I have all of my cold sensitive citrus and coffee plants and I'm going to have to start carrying these indoors in probably about two to three weeks because the frosts are going to start. And because of that, I can't spray them with the fish emulsion because they will stink up my entire sunroom. I have to use an odorless solution and luckily we have a solution. And that solution is seaweed extract, also known as kelp extract or liquid seaweed or liquid kelp depending on the different brands or who you're asking. If you can't use fish fertilizer because of the odor, seaweed extract is the perfect substitute because it is virtually odorless and it is loaded with all types of trace micronutrients that are amazing for your plants. This product specifically lists foliar feeding instructions and they recommend a concentration of 2 milliliters per gallon, which is about 0.4 teaspoons per gallon. And I have a measuring spoon that is half a teaspoon, which we will say is close enough. Now the nice thing about this liquid seaweed extract is it is so fine that I can actually use my awesome ULV fogging machine to foliar feed all of my plants. I would not do that with the fish emulsion because it's very thick and I would be afraid that that could clog up this very fine machine. But the seaweed extract is like water. It is, it is almost perfectly liquid. So it's safe to use in a machine like this. So I have it filled halfway, which is one gallon. So I'm going to shake this kelp extract very well. And then I'm going to add half a teaspoon into the machine as directed. And then we're going to shake the machine very well so we can ensure that kelp extract is evenly distributed inside the reservoir. And then we're going to spray all of the plants that I can't have the odor of the fish emulsion touching. We're going to make sure to coat them evenly in the front and the back and make sure to get all underneath the undersides of the leaves. And because I made a gallon of this solution, I'm also going to spray my evergreen trees as well, like my avocado and citrus, because they still need to be fertilized throughout the late fall and winter since they grow year round. As for the application frequency of the foliar feeds, simply apply every two weeks or at the recommended interval by the manufacturer included on the instructions of the product that you're using. And if you're looking for a source of either the fish fertilizer or seaweed extract, I have them linked down in my Amazon storefront link under the list Soluble Fertilizers. There are numerous brands listed, so you have a choice of several very high quality products. As for the manual pump sprayer and ULV sprayer featured in this video as well, they are also linked in my Amazon storefront under the link Disease Prevention and Pest Control. These two simple organic foliar feeds can really take your organic garden to the next level. So everybody, I sure hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you're notified when we release more videos like these. As I previously mentioned, everything I used in this video, as well as that I use for real life in my garden in general, are all linked in my Amazon storefront down in the video description. So expand the video description and click on the storefront link for everything I use. And while you're there, check out my Spreadshop link for custom merch if you want to support the channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see all of you again on the next video. Taylor, Huckledale, what are you doing, buddy? Are you laying with your ball? Are you trying to tell me something? Are you trying to say that you want to go outside and play? You want to go outside and play? Huh? Is that what you want to do? You want to come out and throw the ball around? Come on, buddy. Oh, he's excited now. Oh, he's excited. You bit my finger, you stinker. You ready? You ready? Oh, he's ready. Go, Daly. Get that ball. You get it, buddy. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get that Dale butt. Okay, Dale. Drop it. Good boy. That was very good. Ready, Dale? And go, Dale. Boy, it is a nice day out, isn't it, buddy? 
It's a little warm to be doing zoomies. I could tell it's a little hot out for Dale. Wants to go back inside already.